Hey, what's up, guys? Your average Warhammer is back with another video of World of Warships. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the best destroyer that you can grind out for yourself in World of Warships if you are a new player. And I want to talk about this British destroyer that is Daring. This is a tier 10 uh, British destroyer that I'm talking about. And this is probably one of the best destroyer lines that you can grind for yourself if you are a new player or you maybe want to try out destroyer lines okay uh destroyers are particularly a bit difficult i would say initially to understand with its complexities and gameplay and how you can able to pull off the wins because by the way guys uh these destroyer lines if you are a new player you will eventually find out that they are a bit difficult compared to you know playing battleships or even sometimes cruisers uh destroyers are very very much sensitive because they have very low HP as you can see here. Uh, in the case of Daring, obviously it's a tier 10 destroyer. So you will have a bit more HP. Obviously, uh, at, tier, at this tier you will definitely going to have something. But the best thing about the Daring is. And this whole line is for the new players. Or relatively uh, new players is going to be something. Which I find is to be superb in its arsenal. And that is its short smokes. I mean, these short smokes is sort of a game changer for new players to understand the gameplay in general at higher tiers. I mean, you have to first of all play this entire line, right? Uh, I mean, if you go from, if I can show you here quickly, if you go from like from this whole line, from a Acosta all the way to Daring, these all going to have short smokes. And these ships also have really decent gun power, as well as something that I call uh, a really, really good tool uh to you know catch torpedoes and destroyers sometimes uh and that is this hydro long range hydro as well as heal now if i talk about the hydro this is something that would help a lot uh you know those new players who really uh taking in a lot of torpedo damage uh this would help a lot because uh, even at lower tiers like uh Jutland and uh, lightning also going to have this hydro as i can show you here at least from tier 8 onwards uh Maybe I can show you here. You can see here you do have a Hydro. And this is a really long action Hydro. It, it, it's going to last for 3 minutes. And Short Smokes does help a lot. At, at tier 9 you will start to have even heals. And usually you don't get that much heals. But in the case... I mean in Destroyer you don't get heals at all to be honest. And But, but the thing is about this uh, British Destroyer line is that... You're actually going to have some heals. And that is so nice. I mean... Uh, I mean, you always take some damage, but then you do have these heals that will compensate a lot of your HP. Uh, I mean, and that would help a lot in surviving out for the late game situation. Where the destroyer is actually going to contest the caps when they are free. And that's the thing that I really love, uh, like about this whole line. I'm quite sure a lot of the exp experienced players will definitely going to agree with me that this entire line is an amazing gunboat. As well as having some torpedoes as well. Because you are also going to learn torpedoes. How to send those torpedoes. And hit them onto the battleships. A lot of players might be. You know getting attracted to the. Uh, single line which I would say Japanese Shimakaze. Because I remember. When I used to see the Shimakaze. With having those 15 torpedoes. Uh, it was like. A dream. Oh my god. I can just death strike battleships right. But that's not the case. It's really not easy to play these torpedo boat destroyers in general i mean you have 15 torpedoes but uh, you, and, and damage is also high but it's gonna be a bit rough and sometimes you eat torpedoes sometimes you take massive damage from destroyers in general i mean uh, gunboat destroyers will eventually kill the shamakaze that's where this yacht line and uh, daring line comes in where you also have these short smokes to survive for yourself as well as heal just like i said so this is amazing line if you are a new player in world of warships uh, the, the next line that I would say, the, one of the best tech tree lines I would say is going to be, an, I mean, a, a bit more easier, uh, worse than daring in terms of difficulty, worse than daring, but definitely still relatively easier is going to be maybe, and that's my personal opinion, is going to be the Gnast line, okay? Problem when playing destroyers is going to be when you get spotted from other destroyers that are very much uh, having good concealment and that's where destroyers these like Gdansk can actually help a lot with their special consumable that is radar I mean you will get it all the way back to tier 8 split and then tier 9 and then tier 10 so you do also have speed boost 
you don't have unfortunately high to, to spot those torpedoes and sometimes even destroyers when they are in smoke but still you have these long duration smoke you have torpedoes to play with and then you also have these guns even at lower tiers you do have some torpedoes uh low da damaging torpedoes that's for sure compared to daring line but uh, the guns are a lot much more easier in terms of their shell arcs especially uh, at tier 10 and you will have a high uh, sorry you will have a radar which is 10 seconds of duration and i would say this helps a lot when you smoke up your radar if you get spotted you can spot any destroyer out there even some marine sometimes with this radar and you can just spot them and you can shoot some uh, uh some you know shells on him and you can just disengage with smoke and just run away with i mean sometimes it's not easy to do that but in the case of gnas you will almost always going to spot the destroyers with this five consumables which reload by the way quickly and also you do have slightly more hp pool but no heals whatsoever so it's a bit difficult compared to draining but these torpedoes are fast if you are looking to play torpedo boat holland sort of gameplay Gidans gets a bit of that but then again the range is pretty low 10 kilometer compared to holland's 15 kilometer and uh, well the entire defense might might not impress you if you if you hate aircraft carriers uh i can't say anything about daring and Gidans. they are not good destroyers but for really new players and relatively new players i think these two lines in my personal opinion are going to be the best destroyer that you can try but please let me know guys uh the experienced players i'm quite sure you guys are out there you just let me know what do you think about these two destroyers gdansk or daring i believe that they are the best destroyers for new players relatively new players in world of warships i mean someone might argue that there might be a destroyer like z52 that also have a hydro a german destroyer but i don't know it is good i don't get me wrong at tier 10 it is really versatile six kilometer hydro but it is sort of advanced because the gun power sometimes is not easy to understand with its ap characteristics that it has a bit special and the he pen is low alpha damage is low so i mean i mean he alpha is low but the pen is really good but still there are some shenanigans that might be a bit complicated and that's why i think that the gidansk and daring might be a lot much more easier to play especially the gidansk why because it only has he shell so i mean you don't really need to think about any he or at least any ammunition type like ap does not exist that's fine it does not matter because in the in the case of Gidansk, there's uh, there's no AP, right? So it's it's not going to be a problem. So you just shoot AG. You just understand the gameplay, the play style, uh, how the destroyers are played, and then you will just move and eventually get to the next tech three lines. Maybe uh, different flavors of different nations. So yeah, please let me know in the comments. I believe these are two really powerful ships. I'm quite sure there are other ships as well that you might mention, but please let me know in the comments below. And I will catch you guys into the next one. Peace out.